Hey everyone, it's me Jess from Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. I know you won't be able to see my full face, but it's because I wanted you guys to see the cards. Pretty much what we're doing today is a reading for the month of October for my Pisces Sun, Rising, and Moon signs. One of my subscribers, one of the members from the um, Bahati Life tribe, the Bahati Vibe tribe, asked me so sweetly if we could do this, and I just was like, yes. It is a resounding yes. So I don't remember who they are, but whoever you are, thank you so much for your suggestion. And thank you so much for asking. And if you ask, you may receive. And in this case, you will be receiving. So these readings are very much intuitive and working with cards. The reason why I'm not pulling the astrology chart for the month of October is because for those of you guys who are subscribed to my YouTube channel, you know how I do things every month or every week I give my astrological interpretations and my readings to the collective so I didn't want to repeat myself I just wanted to give you guys the best of what I'm seeing intuitively now that being said Pisces these cards that I've pulled I have not seen besides the ones on the back but that knowing that um, this reading is definitely 100% intuitive and we're gonna see what it is that I'm pulling for you for the month of October so let's go ahead and start with the bottom first because I've already seen them. Okay, so Three of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. It is safe for you to love, but something about these two horses is really connecting with me. And also these three energies is connecting me to these three people. Okay, positivity. You were born with that it quality. Isis, past life. We're seeing blessings, we're seeing freedom. You're on the right path. You're seeing the situation accurately. Perception, wow. Tiger, you're being called upon to provide leadership, so trust that you're capable of doing so, and the sacred pool. Now give me a second, my Pisces babies, to organize your cards because there's a lot going on here. The first thing that I am wanting to say and see is the fact that there is movement here when this card you're on the right path is just confirmation for something that you probably needed to hear and something that you've been waiting to hear i definitely am seeing i, I feel the same thing that i felt when i started which is these three different entities connect me to the three of pentacles they whatever this is is seeing you and seeing the potential in you and because of that things are now moving forward I think that also you are seeing something, you are seeing potential in something. The door opens up and the universe, the angels, the guides are all leading you to the right people, to the right thing, to the right time because it is literally now that it needs to happen in the month of October. The sacred pool is about the energy of what goes out. Is We're all under the same energy. We're all under the same influence. So what you're feeling, others are feeling. Your okay, look, perception and you are seeing the situation accurately, that shows me too, perception, it's how you are, how you, what you are seeing and how you are being seen is it. This just opens the door. When I see freedom, I'm seeing, we have, now it's time. Now, all of these angels crowding around this one woman, they're urging her, go, 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 like you're free now. You are safe, it is safe for you to love. It is time for you. The time is now, I'm really feeling that. When I see blessings, I'm connected to the Knight of Pentacles and the coin that, is that he's holding. When I see blessings, I see these two people seeing the work and the effort and the quality, the value that this person has put in and what this person has been working to achieve. He's like, oh, oh, you're, notice you're talking about me and my work and who I am, that's what you're seeing. I'm seeing the situation accurately, which is you are worth it. That is a blessing. Sometimes to be seen and to be invested in is the biggest blessing. Now it's going to happen. Even this guy here watching her ride by on, along this path, he sees her. Why? Because it's now. If it was any time before, he wouldn't have seen her. She would have just rode by, beautiful as everything, and he wouldn't have observed her because it's not the time. There would have been a million different distractions pulling him away from seeing her. But because it's the time, something about him, timing is everything. It like everything aligns and they're like, wait a minute, I need to go over there. There's something about that. I'm gonna go to that, I'm going to invest in that. I'm gonna ask questions. And that starts the journey. That starts the next path. You are on the right path, finally. 
you've never not been on the right path, but all these things are like, come, 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 come with us. Then this past life issue, I feel like all of this, all of these things, right? She's holding on to this life. She's holding on to what she's known for herself. She's holding on to how she has been seeing things, how she's been feeling about things. All of those past issues, all of those past moments are now calling you into a space now of being, ble of being blessed, of being, being seen, of being invested in. Who? You. You were born with this it quality. No one else. Like this person, oh my god, you guys. I, I almost feel like cutting the reading off because I feel like I know the full reading. But if I, don't, if I cut the reading off, then you're never going to receive it. So I need to tell you. But... Again, timing is everything. You could be the most perfect person for the perfect job, for the perfect opportunity, for the perfect relationship. But if you are not, like if the timing isn't right, the universe will literally arrange everything within your past so that you are invisible, so that you are not being seen. So it, you could be the most magical, most amazing, most highly skilled, respected person or should, re should receive that respect and adoration and love and commitment and building but if people, if it's not the time, it doesn't matter how much you have that it quality, if it's not your time, you will not be seen. You will actually be guided in situations that you will not be in a position where your value will be seen because you will give too much of yourself to something that is not, like it's not, you shouldn't be giving yourself to that or to that person or to that job. So when it is time for you to see it be seen, literally there is nothing that will stop you from being seen. Everything will align so that you are on the right path, so that you are seen, so that you are blessed, and the doors open, and things will, people will see you, people will perceive you, and they will say, look, she has that it quality. Literally, I can't get this anywhere else. Even, let's say, let's say you do, like, let's say you're an artist, and you're only skilled 40% of your potential skill level, and there's people on this face of this earth who are at 50, 60, 70, 100% of skill. But it's not their time to be seen or it's not, it's not their time to be seen even though they're at 100%. You, because it's your time, even at 40%, you will get all the recognition. You will get all the reward. You will get the love of your life. You will get the job offer. You will get fame, fortune, whatever. Because even at 40%, it's not that you're not qualified because in some aspect, in some way you are. Like none of us are perfect. None of us have like everything. But to the right person, to the right thing, you will be everything. That 40% is everything. That 40% to them is 100%. Does that make sense? And I just feel like when I say, when I see it is safe for you to love and you are born with that it quality and we see you are on the right path, freedom, knight of pentacles, blessings, three of pentacles, perceptions, you're seeing the situation accurately. All of these things are intuitively telling me how strong it is that there it is your time that there is an offering you don't need to do anything besides to continue doing what it is that you're doing because you just doing what you're doing is amazing and it is your time you were born with that it quality so it's like you don't have to compromise anything that is the blessing that's why it is a blessing so when I see the tiger here it's you're being called this this message that says you're being called to provide leadership so trust that you're capable of doing this it's like well now that all eyes are on you what are you gonna do hopefully you're gonna say yes to the dress hopefully you're gonna be positive and not you know look at yourself and criticize yourself or criticize anyone else because of your past life issues because of your past issues somehow all of the issues of the past in past lives and this life have um, conspired to bring you to this right now. And that's your reading. Let me see. Let me see this. Well, I, I mean, Pisces, I think you honestly have the best reading so far out of all of them. That's just how I feel. Um, okay, so we have choose wisely, we have breathe, we have ambition, we have opportunity, and we see take the helm. So, come on. Take the helm connects back to leadership. Opportunity is the blessing. It's, you know, the time is now. You're on the right path. Breathe. 
come into a space where you just breathe because this is exciting. I literally throughout this entire time, I'm not even a Pisces, this isn't my reading. I really haven't taken a full breath because it's so exciting. So as, the, as these things show themselves, remember to breathe, remember to not hold your breath because you know you need life moving through you regardless of how exciting things have been. Choose wisely. I feel like when I see this, I feel like someone is choosing you wisely. Smart choice. Of course they should have chosen you. You're the, be you're the biggest blessing. That's when I see when I see choose wisely. Someone has wisely chosen you. Good choice. They have seen the situation accurately, which is you are worth it, you are valuable. And you might actually see someone or see something that you may not have noticed because it is their time to be seen by you. And that's something that it's like, okay, now when I see ambition and I see opportunity and take the helm, it's like, okay, wait, that's what I want. I am ambitious. You're the one I want. This is where I'm going. This is where I'm headed. I'm going to take the realm, helm. I'm going to go. That's where I'm going. Opportunity pre presents itself. So when it does, I jump on it. And if you need any more confirmations, you're on the right path. Come on. Literally, you're on the right path. Blessings to you, Pisces. Honestly. Um, keep me posted and let me know how this manifests for you throughout the month of October. Ask for what it is that you want to receive because I feel like you're going to get it. Love yourself and don't second guess yourself. Don't second guess anything. If it feels right, it is right. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure that you subscribe to this YouTube channel because we're playing more videos where this came from. Bye.